And here we are with another Yamaha Nuage tutorial. Today we're going to talk about inserting a plug-in on a channel, and I'm going to demonstrate how quickly you can do this without using the mouse. I'll do this both on the fader unit and on the master unit. So let's get started. Uh, for this example, I'll use the base channel. Uh, real quick side note, you can lock any channels to the right or to the left. And what that does is, you notice I've selected the base channel, click the lock to the right button, and now my base channel has been sent to the right. And now as I scroll through my various channels, it's always staying on the top, which allows you to always access those channels if you need to. And then if I wanted to send that back out to where it was before, I just make sure it's highlighted and click the lock button again, and now it sends the base channel back in the order it was in the channel count. And uh, so it's a very handy feature, and again, you can do that as many times as you need to. I'm going to lock that to the right just for our demo purposes. Now you notice um, under the section control unit, if I hit insert, it opens up the eight slots uh, where we can insert a plug-in. Grab the encoder, and let's say I want to insert a compressor on slot number five. I click the encoder, it pops up with my plug-in menus. I click it again, I'm going to select a compressor click the encoder again and you see that the screen now pops up with the plug-in parameter page and my encoders now control the plug-in parameters. I can make my adjustments and click the insert button again under the section control and I'm back out. Now say I want to bypass that compressor. There's two buttons below the encoder, one's yellow and one's green, and you see on the screen they are labeled for you. So if I wanted to bypass that compressor I hit the yellow button and that compressor is now bypassed. Uh, or if I wanted to edit the parameters again and make some adjustments, I click the E button, which is the green button. It pulls up with the plug-in parameter page. I can make my adjustments, and then I'm back out. Uh, now there's a couple other ways you can do this. Um, you look under the section control, there are uh, eight, one, buttons labeled one through eight and you can see that just allows me to jump through the slots quickly. And also there are up and down arrow keys that allows me to do the same thing. Let's say I wanted to uninsert that compressor. I simply select slot number five or scroll down to it, click on the encoder, scroll up to no effect, and now I've effectively uninserted that plugin. Uh, I also wanted to demonstrate that this also works with third-party plugins. Nuage will interface with those as well. Let's say I wanted to insert a, a Waves plugin on the next channel over. I just grab that encoder and let's insert maybe an API 2500 Waves plugin. And you can see I can have full control over the parameters for even uh, third-party plugins. And then I'm back out. And if I wanted to unassign it, same thing. So you can see how quick and easy it is to, uh, to insert plugins on a channel without even touching a mouse. And it is uh, quick and easy. Now we'll go ahead and move over to the master section and demonstrate how to do the same thing. Okay, for those of you that may not have a fader unit but you have the master control section, I'm now going to show you how to do the same thing on, by inserting a plugin on a channel. Um, so again, make sure your channel is selected. I'm going to select the base channel for this demo and then go to your master section and select the channel button. Now you notice it popped up at the top of this screen we have various tabs and currently we have dynamics section is highlighted. So you want to make sure the insert tab is selected and now you can see my eight slots with the uh, plugins that are inserted on that channel. Uh, you notice I have them bypassed currently. There's a button at the top that I can unbypass all of the effects, or I can do them individually. Uh, there's also an edit uh, button there so you can access the parameters, and then your encoders become the, the control knobs for those parameters. Um, now, if we want to get back to the screen, there's a back button on the touch screen, and we can see our slots again. Now, let's say we want to insert a compressor on the slot number five click on that slot 5, we'll select dynamics, and let's find a compressor that we want to insert. Let's say we want to just insert the standard compressor, and uh, you see it pops up on the screen there. Now, a neat little side note, by using the touch screen, you can access the presets 
by clicking this button right here. And now you can see, I can see whatever presets. Let's say I want to select the Fat Dance Master. Um, you click on that, and now that uh, preset has been assigned. And if we want to ad adjust the parameters, we click on the Edit button, and now we have control over those uh, features or the parameters with the encoder knob. We can go back and uh, say we want to unassign that again. You do it the same way. Click on it, click no effect, and we're back out. Again, you can see how quick and easy it is to access different parameters and assigning plugins without using a mouse with the Nuage. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any Nuage questions or uh, tutorial suggestions, feel free to email me at brad at and would love to help you out. Thanks again.